Today we're going to do a quick reminder of column addition. There are many different methods for doing addition, but column addition is quite a useful one. So let's uh, practice this. Let's look at a simple example, 427 plus 56. Now the important thing when you're doing column addition is to make sure that you line up the place values properly. Let me just show you what I mean. If we write 427, this, the 4, is 400, this, the 2, is the tens, and the 7 are the units. Now we're going to add 56 to it. We must just make sure that we line up the place values of 56 in the same way. In other words, we must make sure that the 6 sits very neatly in the units column, and the 5, which is 5 tens, sits very neatly in the tens column. And if we do that, the rest is very simple. So what we do is we always start from the right and we say 7 plus 6, that gives me 13. What's 13 made up of? It's made up of 3 units, but also 1 10. So when we write it in, we're going to put down 3 units, and then the 1 10 is going to go over here to join in the tens column. Then we're going to add up everything in the tens column, so we've got... 5 tens, 2 tens, and 1 ten, so it's 5 plus 2 is 7 plus 1 is 8, so we've got 8 tens, in other words, 80 there. And then we look at the very last thing. Here we've got 4 hundreds, and there were no hundreds here, so 4 hundreds plus no hundreds adds up to 4. And so our answer is 483. Okay, I want you to try one quickly now, just to make sure you have the idea. Add 236 and 384. Pause the video now and try it in your home workbooks. Let's check. 236 plus 384. Notice very carefully lining up so that the units are under each other, the tens are under each other, and the hundreds are under each other. So we do 6 plus 4, we get 10. So we put a 0 down here and we carry the 1. Then we say 8 plus 3 is 11, plus 1 is 12. We put a 2 down here and we carry the 1. And then we say 3 plus 2 is 5, plus 1 is 6. So our answer is 620.